Hey guys, we are learning with McKernan in here today. And really, I find this stuff very fascinating because I'm a homeowner uh -huh. and I have to deal with any issues that come up with my trees or bushes. And today you are going to tell us about these little guys. Who are they? Yes, yeah, so right now a lot of people are dealing with what's called the elm leaf beetle. And this beetle feeds on all types of elms. It really prefers Siberian elms, but if you have a lace bark elm, American elm, um, any of the types of elm trees, this could be an insect that you'll be fine. Um, feeding on the tree and causing some noticeable damage to the appearance of what the tree looks like. Yeah, the damage you guys might be looking for at home is it's almost like looks like little holes in all of your leaves. Yes, so the larva of this insect is going to feed on the bottom side of the leaves and essentially what it does is it just eats the green leaf out of the or the green tissue out of the leaf. Okay. So the leaves appear skeletonized almost see-through when you look at them up close and from a distance they could look fire scorched like they're just browned all throughout the tree. Um, the adults are actually going to feed all the way through the leaves, so you'll see the adult beetle feeding holes um, actually in the leaf as well, where they're typically the larva is just going to be on the underside of the leaf. Yeah, you have examples of what would look like your larva would look like and what your actual adult would look like. Yes, so this is going to be a great example of the larva here. They look like basically little tiny caterpillars. Uh, they're typically yellowish in appearance with black stripes down the side. And these are going to be found on the bottom sides of the leaves. Let's hold that up a little more. Yeah. If you can't see them, they really do look like, just like, like he said, little tiny worm caterpillar type. Yep. And this is going to be a better picture here, a little bit there larger go, to yeah, see the larva. Um, here as well. Here, let's push that into there. So people what a lot of people it. are going to be seeing, though, this time of year is the larva is going to crawl down the trunk of the tree and pupate or turn from the larva into the adult beetle. So right now, a lot of people are going to see these caterpillars or larva uh, crawling down the trunks of the tree and congregating right at the base of the tree. So you'll either in those cases see the curled up larva here or these little yellow ball looking things which is the larva turning from the adult to the um, beetle. And so, biggest question, what do we do? Yeah, so if you want to control these right now, if you have these at the base of the tree, collecting those, sweeping them up, crushing them is going to be a great way to reduce the second population that's coming mid-July. Um, if you want to, if you don't have these at the base of the tree yet, another thing you can do is apply tanglefoot or a sticky substance on the trunk of the tree so that these insects will get caught in that and not be able to survive um, their migration down to the base. And the best way to prevent those? If you want to prevent this in the fall, you can apply a soil drench with imidacloprid to help protect the tree the following spring. Okay, always such great information. Yes. Thank you so much. We appreciate it. All right, guys, stay with us. Mr. Food is coming up next.